What's going on guys? This is Molten's Mind and Body. I am your host Jeff Molten. Welcome back to the show. If you're new, I appreciate you tuning in. We have an interesting episode tonight. We got something coming up around New Year's. Hint, hint. Uh, New Year's resolutions coming around. So I want to talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions, kind of what I feel about them and kind of how to go about having them if you're going to and kind of overall um, how to set realistic goals if you're going to go about doing them. But first, I want to talk about my view on New Year's resolutions. I honestly think that they're kind of a bunch of bullshit to an extent. I think that most people set themselves up for these huge expectations, these huge goals, and they're not ready to make the change, but um, they convince themselves they are, and they set a goal of losing 30 pounds around New Year's, and then what happens is in a few weeks, they realize going to the gym and, and doing these crash diets and all this stuff doesn't really work, and then they kind of fail. So I think that's the big problem. I think, I think if you want to make a change, you have to be doing it now. I think, I think there's no reason to wait. It doesn't make sense to me when all these people wait around to make changes next week, on Monday, start fresh. I think if you're really honestly ready to make a change, I think you need to be doing it now. So the point of New Year's resolution, obviously, is to, to set a goal, set up, start the new year right. So the idea behind the New Year's resolution is great, but I think what it does is it gives people time to postpone you know, the actual things they want to do and give themselves excuses why they're not doing things right now. So I think that's my problem with it mostly, right? So I think there's the upside. So, you know, what I actually like about them, I think that it, the good thing is, is I'm glad that people are ready to make changes. I think people, you know, that want to make a change is a, is a great thing. But, um, you know, you have to you set the day-to-day -day goal, the week goal, the month goal, and plan it out. You can't, I don't think you should just throw something at a dartboard like I want to lose 30 pounds and then try to do it. You know, you have to be strategic. You have to take your time and you have to do the right things to set yourself up for success. So let's use that example. You know, say I'm trying to lose 30 pounds. So my advice to you, if you're one of these people that's starting around New Year's um, to lose 30 pounds is to start by tracking your food. We talked about this in other episodes, how important to track your food is, right? So like I said, write it on a piece of paper. What I prefer you to do is to use MyFitnessPal and start tracking your food for a week. The best way to do it, start day one, weigh yourself, track your food for a week, day seven. So after you add up your food throughout the week, divide it by seven, that'll average how much food you've eaten that week. Now, if you stay the same when you weigh yourself a week later, you know that calorie amount is gonna keep you at the body weight that you are. So moving forward, you have to estimate what you wanna do. Is it to gain weight, build muscle, or to lose weight? You can't do them both, so you gotta pick one. So if your goal is to lose that 30 pounds we were talking about, let's start with three to 500 calories a day less than you're normally are eating. And then track it for a week, see what your weight comes off. If it's losing one to two pounds a week, you're at the perfect spot and continue to do that. And over time, you make small adjustments as it goes, but you have to have a game plan moving forward. That being said, also, now that you're eating better, making the right choices and in tracking your food, you have to get more active in the gym. So starting out three to five days a week is probably the best start. Um, you know, I'm gonna make another video moving forward when it comes to the actual splits and how to program correctly and things like that. But just get moving, get more active. Three to five days, you know, if you're going three days a week, let's start with three full body workouts. Um, and if you're doing five days a week, you know, let's let's split things up a little bit differently. Maybe an upper body day, a lower body day, and then, you know, upper, lower, things like that. Splitting things up and then maybe one full day of just, you know, mobility, flexibility, and cardio, things like that. So there's a multiple ways that you can do go about that, but I think you need to plan that out. So, you know, whether it's me, you know, asking me questions and we can go over things on here or, you know, Googling or YouTubing some workouts just to get you started. But I think these are all things you have to have in place moving forward for New Year's, right? So you can't just blindly be walking into it. This is what you need to do. So I think the idea behind it is great as long as you have a plan moving forward, okay? And now if we go off the, the fitness topic a little bit, all these New Year's resolutions that are being made, you know, have a little bit different, um, you know, mindset going into it. We're going to talk mostly about the fitness stuff, but I think, I think no matter the goal, make sure it's a realistic goal. It's something that makes sense that, you know, you're doing for you. That's another thing. Make sure these goals that you're doing are physically for you. You're not trying to impress someone else. You're not losing weight for someone else. You know, you're not doing it to, to get a certain view from society. These things are that you want to make sure you're thinking about when you're setting these goals. Um, and you're not doing it to oppress someone. That's really the big thing because you want to be doing these things for yourself. So I guess that's what I do like is the fact that, you know, people are ready to make changes and that's awesome. But 
honestly, the things that I don't like are going to outweigh what I actually do. Because I think the excuses that people make on a daily basis just don't don't add up. Um, and I think they're just, you know, I think people are setting these goals on, uh, you know, this yearly New Year's resolution thing because that's what you're supposed to do. You get to go tell your friends. You get to go, you know, ooh, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose 30 pounds. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And you're just doing it to get the attention from other people. You're not actually doing the goal again, like we said before, for yourself. So I don't like that perception of it. I think like writing it down on a notebook, you know, setting the goal to yourself and, and start to keep yourself accountable. Now, if depending on the goal, you might need support from other people, whether it's family, friends, and things like that. So when you go to talk to these people about, you know, these specific goals, you know, if they aren't on board and you're actually truly serious about making a lifestyle change, losing weight, you know, stop drinking, stop smoking, doing all these different things, you need to check the people in your life real quick because these are people that you don't need and aren't going to support you because if you're trying to get better and they honestly aren't there to support you, then you need to find a new group of friends, whether it's family, friends, whoever. You need to cut them out, maybe not forever, but for this big change you're going through and you need to show them that you're ready to make a change. Now, on that topic, if you're the person that literally on a daily basis is, is telling everyone what you're going to do but never do anything, then you're like the sheep that cried wolf, right? That's the person you're being. So you may get a reaction that you don't want or don't like from family or friends. So that might be expected. So don't don't play sympathy with yourself or give yourself all this sympathy that like, oh, poor me. No, you need to do it for yourself and now you gotta prove to you and them that you're gonna do it. So if anything, use that as a little bit of motivation in this aspect. You know, normally I don't want you to worry about other people, but you know, if they're gonna, they you don't know, prove to them, like, yo, you can't do it, all right, watch this. Like, that's what you need to be in the mindset of doing. So when you're setting these goals, again, focus on you and your goal and what you want and start now, don't wait. Like, like you know, it just, I can't stand people on a daily basis. I don't know how many people talk to me that literally, you're like, yeah, Jeff, I'm gonna start getting into shape. Yeah, Jeff, I'm gonna eat better. Oh yeah, I wanna do this. Oh, but I don't have time or I don't have this. Or like, the excuses are endless. And, and again, it just is, it's just you're being weak and you're not really want it that bad. Like I think what this is what I think most people do is they talk about how they want something, they want to become something, and they don't actually want to do it because they enjoy the process. Excuse me, but they actually want to do it because they want the the title. They want like the 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 almost like famous like view that everyone looks at them like, "Hey, I did this and look at me because of it." Like that's what they're doing. They want the fame. They don't want the actual career for what they're doing cuz you know what? Just from doing this, you know, podcast like in talking to other people and doing other things, like it just reminds me of like how many people told me like they're gonna do A, B, C, or D and then a week, two, three, four weeks later, like they realize that it's way more work than they thought it was and it, the idea of doing a podcast is actually really cool but um, you know, they don't realize that, that down the road it's, it's way more work than they think. You know, and I think fitness and this, I see it on a daily basis. So, um, you know, I just tell you like when you're picking your goal, do it because you wanna do it. Don't do it because of someone else, because that's not gonna help anybody. Um, so at the end of the day, guys, um, set your New Year's resolution goals if you want, but make sure they're realistic goals. If you're, in my opinion, like I said, I'd prefer you to just start doing them tomorrow. Don't wait to the end of the month. It doesn't make sense, right? Like, why are you waiting? What is the point? Like, you could have a week ahead, a week start, you could be down a few pounds, you could be already in the gym, making changes, eating better, doing all these things. So, um, you know, like, don't wait, start now and moving forward, set some realistic goals and plan ahead. Plan ahead and worry about your, yourself, don't worry about anybody else and start crushing those workouts, eating better and doing whatever your plan is with your goals moving forward. All right guys, so we're gonna make a little shorter video today. I just wanna get straight to the point moving forward, New Year's coming around. This is basically how I feel. Do not start, do not wait, I'm sorry. Do and start now. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Take it easy. That's only like 10 minutes, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll get it on.